so good morning first thing i do is to clean myself and then i'm drinking these this um, glass or shaker cup full of water with salt and some lemon juice Essential of all the essentials to good old logbook. So there we have the end product, that's basically my everyday breakfast. Um, 250 milliliters of egg whites, one slice of protein bread and 10 grams of Philadelphia light. Macros will be here, um, yeah I'm gonna enjoy this now and then I'm off for work. Daily Monster uh, Perfect Let's get to work Oh dear Traffic is absolutely horrendous today They closed the road I need to take to my company So yeah That was just horrific And I'm a little late, but however, uh, I think I'll catch you later for a pool session today, I have RDLs, so yeah, catch you up for that and see you then in the gym. Oh dear, work is done and now I'm hyped for this session, can you hear me talking, I'm just listening to some Adriatic at Tomorrowland 2019 absolute lovely mixtape what I wanted to say is these guys looking into my car must think I'm absolutely nuts because I just hold the tripod in my hand and chat shit to literally nobody so yeah RDLs are in today so we're gonna hit what going to hit this and I'm just talking about uh, my session later Weather's great today, mood is great, and yeah, motivation is high as you can see. So uh, that was weird, wasn't it? So yeah, um, catch you at the gym, I think, as I already said in my previous clip, but yeah, always ca catching you at the gym, or want to catch you at the gym, but I'm never catching you at the gym. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I'm absolutely hyped. Can you tell I'm hyped? So, <laughs> all right. Oh, hello there. So you must be thinking, what the hell is this guy writing down? So that's just my old logbook. And yeah, today's highlight is definitely um, the barbell RDL the sun and put putting in my my numbers that I that I need to hit today and yeah 
just getting mentally ready for the session. I'm gonna do that and first thing I'm going to drink my little pump formula. It's just arginine, citrulline and some BCAs that it um, because without it it would taste like absolute dog shit so yeah. Cheers! Hello and welcome to today's voiceover. Um, I'm going through one of my pull sessions. Um, here you can see me warming up with some movements. Um, I go for about yeah, 10 minutes warming up and getting ready, getting the muscles warm. Do some stiff leg deadlifts as well. So, and then some lateral raises and some um, bicep curls. So, then we started with um, a rope pullover, two sets here. Um, perfect to, to activate the lats, um, great movement with perfect facials here. Um, we then went over to the hammer iso pull down, two sets as well. Um, one top set, one back off. Very hard to shorten the lat here, but I will get to that later. Then the main movement of the day, um, two sets of the barbell RDL. Very hard movement, but I love it. Um, yeah. This was the last rep and I uh, was a bit pissed that I couldn't lock in at the end, as you can see here. Just didn't get it, got a bit pissed off, um, but it is what it is, yeah. Um, then I moved to the back off, did 13 reps with 150 kg. Um, wasn't quite satisfied with the form, but I will get to that back later. We then went on on a, um, a pronated grip um, row, hammer row, um, two sets as well, one, no, no, three sets, I'm sorry, one top, um, two back offs, uh, that's that, DT rections, um, these are handled like a, a, a white grip pull down and really rinse the eccentrics on these or try to. Then went up to one rest pause set of um, shrugs to finish off with some with some trap work. Yeah, um, and that's it for the back. We then moved to some bicep work, one heavier movement, which was the cable curls here, and then one movement. Um, which was higher in reps, a high cable curl. And my battery died because of that, this isn't recorded. So yeah, finished up with rare delts, one cluster set and with a very, very pretty facial here. See you in the next clip. So just got home from, from training. I left my second battery at home and my battery fucked up mid session. So got some food to eat so about 300 carbs and 90 protein and some fat as well in total that I need to eat now in two meals so yeah it's quarter past eight and we're gonna smash some food now watch a little YouTube session was okay uh, it was good it was quite good but RDLs I really got fucked up in my back off especially. Um, top set, I got pissed that I didn't got the whole rep. It was like 6.75 reps. Uh, I just couldn't lock out. Um, but it, it felt nice and I think execution was good on, on the top set, but execution was horrendous on the back off. I don't know what happened, but it felt okay. But yeah, I just rushed some reps and lost some upper back tightness um, pretty fast so ooh, my hair looks absolutely awful um, however so rest of the session was good hammer strength easy pull down um, it's just it's such a hard exercise to be honest 
it it shortens the lead perfectly but it's very hard to shorten it so yeah so now i'm gonna prep some food of course i'm going to show you what i eat and um see you in the next clip so there we have the end product some tuna with rice and some cereal with frozen berries i'm gonna add some almond milk as well Put a little bit on, of ketchup on that. Macros will probably be on the screen. Um, it's like one bag of uh, long grain rice of Uncle Ben's. Uh, one can of tuna, 150 grams. Um, 150 grams of berries and 100 grams of cereal. And I'm shooting for 200 milliliters of almond milk. So I'm gonna smash this now and catch you for I don't know for what, just in the next clip. So, we're going to listen to the best ever to the best ever sound in the world. Just listen. Two hundred and five, but I don't give a fuck for these five because this is so low in calories. But can you hear this tickling? Can you hear it? Sound, oh my god, best sound ever. So, let's give you a live little taste test, of course. Oh, with my left hand, I can't do shit with my left hand because I'm so disabled with that one. So, let me just change this. Alright, perfect. Much better. That's like Cocoa Pops and Rice Krispies mixed. So, I really thank God for for this meal. Absolutely appreciate it. This is heaven. I can't even imagine how this has to taste like if food is going to be low in next prep or something. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this beauty now. And yeah, see you in the next clip. So to wrap this video up, um, I just wanted to talk about why and about my split at the moment and what's the rationale behind um, behind what I'm doing and what AJ programmed. Um, so as you could see, this was my pull one session. Main exercise there is the RDL of course, um, just to build that density in the back because um, like my, my split at the moment is um, pull one, rest, push one, legs one, rest, pull two, rest, push two, legs two, rest, repeat. There's plenty of rest uh, around my pull, excuse me, around my pull days and that's because I'm lacking from the back especially. So. I put up some stage shots from from last year. Um, as you could see, my back was pretty flat, pretty weak. So we want to build some density there. With the RDL in pull one as the main movement, we want to build the thickness, of course. Um, just the, the whole posterior chain that needs to come up. And we already improved it a lot, I think. Um, so I'm going to hit some recent shots um, on the screen as well um, that you can see um, where we are at. We think that body composition is still in a in a good place to, to grow. So we started Meso 2 now. Um, we didn't change a lot. Same rotations. Um, legs are a bit different. We just pulled out some intensity techniques. 
um, which is okay. Um, I have two or three new exercises in, in the leg programming, so that's quite cool. I'm just looking forward to that. But the rest stays pretty much the same. Why should we change something that, that is working at the moment? So I think we can, as long as I improve and I, I can progress, progressively overload on, on the movements I'm doing, um, that's, that's perfect. As I told you before, I wasn't quite perfectly satisfied with today's session. Last week, weight was just flying, I think. Or last rotation, weight was just flying. This week, it got harder. Of course, we need to have an eye on, on the long term and on the end goal. And as as long as progress is coming over the week, over the weeks, if I compare my previous RDL, um, like eight weeks ago, it was 180 for five and 140 for 13, I think. And now it's 185 for six or with today 6.75 and 154.13. That's progress. It's slow progress, but it's progress. And with with that weight on, on the bar, it's just hard to, to progress this every week. You need to, to have an eye on, on execution as well, um, because I don't want to lose form just because I, I um, higher the weight so yeah main movement on pull 2 which I'm going to show in another video for sure I think um, is rowing so we have um, the hammer strength low row which is pretty hard to shorten the lat so we have that at the beginning um, we have then a barbell bent over row um, dumbbell row another heavy day but not as heavy as the RDLs, of course. Yeah, as you can just load much more on RDLs than, than on the than on road mo movements. So, just talked about five minutes about that. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to, to be covered in, in the videos. And I try to upload as much as possible. Let me know what you think, like and subscribe if you liked the video and see you in the next vid. Bye! So, my mom's away for holiday and I need to, to give the flowers some water. I basically have no idea what to do. I think I just put some water in the earth of them. No idea. Like, is that enough or need some more? Hey, lovely flower, how much do you need to stay alive? I have no fucking clue. I think I'm just going, oh shit. Just go for some. I think less is better when it comes down to, to water the flowers, but. And I just stood in the fucking water that was put it on the floor. Absolutely gorgeous. My mom's gonna kill me if these flowers are fucked. So wish me luck. <laughs>